Hello everyone, welcome. It is early, it is raining, it is a new moon, and yesterday was the spring equinox. And I'm wishing you a beautiful spring, and I'm wishing you a beautiful new moon. And I wanted to answer a question that came up yesterday when I was teaching. It was a really good question. It was about the shifting and the movement of energy right now as we move into springtime. And in Chinese medicine and medical Qigong, every time we shift energies, we shift into new seasons, it's an important time to tune in and look at how you're feeling and how you wanna move forward. And I'd like to share with you a little bit about why sometimes people begin to feel frustrated and irritable in the spring. It's, it's a very actually natural common emotion. Sometimes little bickering starts and, and people just start to feel a little anxious. So I wanna just share with you how you can relieve that and why it's happening. It's, it's, it's very simple. And, and so if you're struggling with that, I'd love to be able to give you an insight into that. Welcome everybody. Welcome to the art of tuning in. I'm Maria Ferlano. And so when you move into the energy of spring, what you want to understand is that we've been going from winter time, which is a time of deep cultivation, right? It's when the bears hibernate. It's when our energy slows down because it's so cold out and our body needs to nourish and keep that energy. And so quiet meditation, gentle yoga, more gentle qigong, all of those things are important to do during that season. But now we're shifting into spring and spring is a time when things begin to come out, right? If you look at nature, you see nature begins to shoot, shoot up, reaching, reaching towards the sky. And then in the summer, of course, we have full blooms. So this is what happens with our energy as well. And the more in tune we are with nature, actually the better nature can lead us. So the reason why I said sometimes in the springtime, people can start to feel more edgy, more irritable, is because the body, it's like it's waking up from a nap. Oh, and it's time to reach and stretch and breathe, and it's time to move a little more. And the simplest way that you can release any feelings of irritability or frustration or, you know, pensiveness or, or just, you know, feeling like mm, you don't know what's going on is to move. So now is the time, very slowly, because we're moving from winter into spring. So your body is literally waking up, but very slowly now, now is the time to begin to do little, little bit, little bit more active Qigong, a little bit more active yoga. You know, take faster walks, work out a little bit, get a little bit of the sweat going and allow yourself to start to express the energy that is naturally moving in your body. So in the springtime, in, according to Chinese medicine and medical Qigong, the liver energy is associated with the season of spring. And the liver expresses in creativity. The liver expresses itself by having the energy come up and out in healthy ways. So you can get really angry, really angry, and that energy can come right up. And you see when people get like red in the face, that anger, that's that liver energy coming up in frustration. But in a healthy way, liver energy expresses itself freely, it's free moving, and it's very creative. And so that's what we wanna do. We wanna do that for our body so that our energy can move in a beautiful way. So if you are in a space, and I, I'll create a video for this so that you see it, but if you go back to the Qigong videos, Qigong for Health on this channel, you'll see um, movement videos and lots of videos for Qigong. But you can just simply begin to tap yourself. And I realize I'm holding the phone right now, so I apologize for that. But you just, you begin to tap. You make a cupped hand and you begin to tap your shoulders. Tap them down like that, straight down, just straight down. Turn your head a little bit, turn your head a little bit away. and and breathe, right? And then you can switch sides and and you can just take a little cupped hand and, you know. 
<laughs> shaking anyway but you can you can do things like that you can tap yourself and like i said i will i'll make a tapping video for you all but just get out move breathe and understand that this this movement of energy that's coming forward in you is very natural if you're someone who tends to be you know a little bit ungrounded more often then you want to focus on walking you want to focus on doing qigong that grounds you you want to focus on doing yoga that grounds you because you want to bring that energy back into yourself so that you can be present to create okay if you're someone who is more serious and tends to think a lot and go over things a lot you really want to begin to move now and let your body begin to move in a way that causes great circulation in your body very safely of course and healthy but you want to allow that energy to free itself so it can express itself so again if you're not quite grounded you need to ground yourself so that the energy can express itself but if you are too grounded if you're too intense you know in your mind that's when we really want to release get movement in our body so that you can more freely express yourself without feeling stuck so tune into yourself see where you are know that change of seasons and a change of mood and a change of energy is totally normal and observe nature have a beautiful beautiful day thanks for being here and i'll see you soon bye for now